Hello and welcome to another video where for a few days it briefly seemed like the long hot summer was going to last forever. Good morning. I'm just walking up the fields to check on Mabel and obviously I think she's the furthest sheep from all the others and from the farm. And currently She's laid in that worrying position where she looks like she's dead, which had me fooled a couple of days ago. I just wish that she'd perk up. Mabel! 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 Come on, girl. Mabel! Mabel! Come on, girl. How are you doing? And I think you can tell here that Mabel really does not look bright in herself. All the other sheep are down the field a bit and then we have Mabel's lambs and Mabel. So now with the 4th of July deadline to work towards for opening the campsite it really was all hands on deck to get everything ready. Grass mowing rather than haymaking. This is the old bell tent to be taken down. So it's a red hot day and today we are taking down the old, or we've taken down, I'm standing on the base of the old bell tent because um, uh, it's time to replace it with a new one for the season. We've been waiting until we get the go ahead to open before we do it. So we've got a brand new one ready to go. So um, that's the job this afternoon. So my job was to clean and scrub the deck clear of any leaves ready for the new tent to go down and all of the furniture and furnishings and things that had stayed in the tent over the winter I just laid around the outside as we wait to put the new tent up. And we started taking a time lapse only to realise that things weren't quite going to plan. So it was supposed to be a straightforward old tent down, new tent up jobby. But as it's a new tent, we didn't actually factor in the fact that the design of it is slightly different. So the panels are different sizes. We've got all these posts that go on the outside that tally with the ropes. Well, no longer the ropes and the posts tally. And the fire flu is now going through a seam. So we've had a bit of a 5.30 p.m. crisis meeting and come up with the ingenious idea of bracing around like so and then we can just tie tie the, tie the strings wherever we want to basically so um and we'll sort the flu out another day So I can't seem to find a very good um, camera angle for chatting to you whilst folding up the laundry, but I was going to chat to you to say it's all hands on deck now, feeling quite stressed about the amount that we need to do before we open, especially in this heat. There are not enough hours in the day, um, but you know, you have to think calmly. We will get there regardless. We will get there. This is Nick standing on the roof of the Kubota, bashing a post in. The post is a support for the fire. All of the tents have a wood burner um, and the flue has to be nice and solid to withstand the weather. And it was getting pretty late in the day by this point. Um, it was almost time to go and feed Bambi. The days just seem so long when the weather is beautiful like this. 
I think it must have been half past nine when the sun fully sets. So this was probably at about 8.30 and it was still so warm. So this is campsite life. We've fed the lamb. It's about nine o'clock and we're doing our campsite admin for the day, waiting to see the sunset in this lovely place. It's so nice and warm and nights like this don't come along that often. So yeah, feeling blessed but stressed, aren't we? So this is the sheep that I've been absolutely fretting over, or we all have, for six days, because she's ill. And it's like, is it any wonder that you're poorly when you're eating out of the hedgerow, when you've got a whole field of grass? Well, she must be feeling better. With hindsight, it's possible that she was reaching for those leaves to help self-medicate to make her tummy feel a bit better. We also put hay down in the field, but she didn't seem so keen on the hay. We started off the day early morning with the most amazing, warm, beautiful swim. And then it was back to the farm to carry on putting the bell tents back together. So it was a team effort to get the bed in, which is really heavy, made out of recycled pallet wood. Um, and then straighten out all the carpets. And my job was to hoover all around, and put all the rest of the furnishings back in, the beds, the tables, the chairs, the mats, the mattresses and all of the nice bits and pieces that make the tent look really nice and special. At the end of the camping season in November, all of the soft furnishings and the mattresses all got bagged up and stored away safely ready for the new season. And here you can see it is taking shape now. The views are, the views are extra, extra, aren't they? It's a hot day, very hot. I've just picked a little dish of fresh strawberries from the garden and it gave me the motivation to bake some scones. Scones used to be my speciality um, and I used to enter them into shows and everything. So I thought I'll see if I've still got the knack. And the scones recipe is one that is featured in the Dale Farm cookbook. Oh, I'm quite happy with those. So with us having a business together, me and Nick don't really actually spend that much time as like a couple. So with the, the stress and the pressure that we've been under lately, I think we both feel like we need to take a bit of a, a break. So I'm trying to entice him to come on a date with me on the camping field. Um, but he's currently in the washroom. So I'm just waiting to see if he comes. So I'm hoping that he'll come and join me for a little picnic. The heat was very extreme on the vegetable plot, so I was watering that twice a day just to sprinkle to keep everything moist and healthy. Um, and then I would do this as late as I possibly could when it started to cool down. And then last thing of the day would be to go and feed Bambi and go and have a look at that gorgeous sunset again. Hi. <sighs> That view and that sunset is just too good to miss out on. So I went up to have a look 
uh, on my own this this time, no Nick. Um, and on the way back down, spotted Mabel with her head through the fence again. Hey, Mabel, you got your head through the fence again. You got a taste for what you can't have. You must be feeling better. <clears throat> you look a bit better. <laughs> Here's Mabel. So it's nearly a week since she was last looking really poorly and she seems so much brighter. <laughs> You're gorgeous, aren't you, girl? Yes, you are. I think Mabel has beautiful eyes. So she must be feeling better. Anyway, here I am. I've actually just been watching the sunset whilst editing a YouTube video. And it's now half past nine and I'm gonna go down to the farm and have a shower. Oh. And I'm gonna finish the video with a lovely shot that I took from swimming in the local river at sunset on one of those gorgeous sunny evenings that we had. Thanks for watching. See you in another video soon. Bye.